Hello guys, I'm back. <laughs> now since today was a bit of a quiet day, I was getting on a few little bits and pieces. Um, I've got, I'm, doing, I'm making a little red dwarf prop, prop that I've always wanted to make. It's another light B, but a slight variation of it. So when I get a little bit further down the road with it, you'll see some, you'll see some stuff. But for today, I'm going to bring you another collection vlog. Uh, now, today's was a very was a fun one um let's go and have a look shall we yes this is a blu-ray box set of avengers assemble um phase one and it included iron man the incredible hulk iron man 2 thor the first avenger and avengers assemble but, as you could see, this one is signed. And who is it signed by? This has been touched by Asgardian greatness. That's right, it was signed by Chris Helmsworth, a.k.a. Thor. Uh, I got this because I was very lucky to live where I live, and they were filming the latest Avengers movie which is of course Infinity War part one at Durham Cathedral which you saw in one of our previous vlogs and I, I believe I showed you a picture of me meeting Chris Helmsworth which you can see again here just in case you missed it last time now what happened is we we, we heard rumblings that the film team were at Durham Cathedral. Something was going on. We weren't quite sure. So, of course, we went on the internet. We found out. And, of course, yes, it was Avengers. So, we went to the cathedral and, obviously, loads of security and things like that. You couldn't get... You could get near it, but you couldn't, you know... You couldn't get very, very close to it. And we were hoping that we'd, you know, obviously see who whoever was there filming to come out. Now there was rumours flying left, right and centre. This star was seen, that was star was seen, or so-and-so is, is rumoured to be in the area. Turned out that the only star that was, was in the area was Chris Helmsworth himself. And there was much speculation as to where he was staying. Now... Durham itself has has one or two very posh hotels, but just outside, we'd learned that he was probably staying at a place called Ramside Hall Hotel. Now, I decided to go and do a little recce there first, so I went and I I saw some autograph hunters, which I've seen around many a time, standing outside. So I thought, yes, we are in the right place here. So, first time we went, nothing happened, uh, met some friends, spoke to them, things like that. The second time we went, we, we, we hung around for about an hour, and we were about to leave when we saw a sudden surge of people. <laughs> so, we obviously went with the crowd, and of course, it was Chris Helmsworth himself, and as you, the pictures you saw... I had my picture taken with him, so did Paula as well, and he was very nice indeed, he, he, he stood and signed and spoke and got photographed for everybody, very nice man, but of course that wasn't enough for us, <laughs> so a few days later we went back to Durham Cathedral to see what was um, what was going on, and we we sort of heard rumblings that no star is going to come up, going to come out and have uh, make the make the fans out here. You'd only you'd only get that at the the hotel in which you were staying. But we thought, no, we'll watch the film in a day, see what happens. And we we hung around for a bit, and it turned what ha what eventually happened is one of the directors came out and he brought out Thor's hammer, and a a filming prop of Rocket Raccoon, life size Rocket Raccoon, which obviously they use for reference when because obviously it's a CGI character. They need it to for reference for the for the actors to make eye lines and things and brought that out and we stroked that and um touched it and everything and you can see the picture of that here
So yes, there we go. Now, after that, <coughs> we thought, what's the chances of making Chris Helmsworth one more time? We didn't think we would, but we decided that we would have a go. So we went back to the hotel, and this time we didn't hang around all that long before Chris turned up. His uh, his wife was with him. They were going to do an interview, I believe, uh, for, for for the radio or some kind of television. And we were very lucky to meet him again. And he very kindly, I don't know if you can see the, he very kindly signed my box set again. So I would say, because I was a bit worried that this was going to rub off over time. So this, he signed this one again for me. Which was very nice. Again, he was lovely, and Paula had his had a picture with him again as well. So there we go. That is my Marvel first phase signed DVD box set, or as it now is it now known, the Asgardian box set. <laughs> so there we go. I don't know what my camera's doing at the moment. It's going very blurry all of a sudden. Yes, there we go. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed that little story there of how we met Thor and how we saw some of the props from tomorrow's, well, it's not tomorrow, Thursday morning. Now we are going to the, I'm picking Paul up tomorrow and we are going to the midnight screening of uh, Avengers Infinity War at our local cinema. So I thought this would be very apt um, to do. So thanks guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.